Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you 4 ways to host a Minecraft server. So, let's get started. And the first way to host a Minecraft server is a true and classic self-hosting. And here for example I have a Minecraft server and this is just a folder with some files and folders to run a Minecraft server. I will have all the things I'll be using today in the description if you're interested. So this first step is simply having you run a server.jar file and having you be the one hosting your server. So for example what happens is once we launch the server we have our own server console and we can join our server using Minecraft multiplayer at server and in this case it is just 0, 0, 0 as you're hosting the server on the same device as Minecraft. And here we have our server. So here it is. And yeah, that's a Minecraft server. So that is the first way to host a Minecraft server. So yeah. And the second way to host a Minecraft server will be anything online from now on. So here we'll just close our own server. And we're now gonna go online. So this is your web browser and the first way is free hosting. So that would be Atenos. And with Atenos, the same idea. Here we have files, it's the same files we have on our computer, just in a different GUI. So what we do here is simply start and this will just start up the server. So let's just wait for us to start up the server. Okay, so once our free Minecraft server has loaded up, what you can do is simply select and copy the IP, so of your server, and once you go into Minecraft and do the same thing as before, you will see your Minecraft server here. So if we reload, we should see the Atonus logo, and here we play Minecraft the same way as we played Minecraft with self-hosting. So yeah, the only caveat with free hosting is that you will have ads in most cases and the servers might be a bit slow but in this case it is still playable for a simple survival server as well so yeah that is Atenos aka free hosting so for the third way to host a minecraft server it is still in the Atenos sphere this is Exaraton which is basically Atenos but paid so what this means is that here we have in options a way to add a bit more CPU cores and RAM. And what this does is that every time you play the server, it takes you from the credits here and it is every time you play. So what happens is that the server count goes offline when no one is in and it stops taking you credits. So unlike other type of servers which run 24-7, this one will only run while this player. So this might be a better deal for you if you only use Minecraft for specific things and not for a constant SMP server, for example. Yeah? So if we have like 8GB of RAM, for example, and then we go to server, then we go to just start. It's just like Atenos, but we do have the possibility to pay while we play. And that's the difference because this is technically cheaper or more expensive than other server hosting. It really depends. If you're going to be playing 24-7, it is more expensive. If you only play casually for specific things, videos or something, this is cheaper. So yeah, it is really what you'll be doing here. So let's just wait for the server to turn on. There you go. As you've seen, it is way faster than the Atenos one. And we just do the same thing as Atenos. We copy our IP. We go to Minecraft, add server, server tutorials here, for example. And here we just have Atenos. But it's Exabiton. Wow. So here we can see that we can play normal Minecraft. It is way faster as you can see. There's no buggy chunks or anything. It just loads up. So yeah, that's really the difference with Exaraton and, Ex and Atenos. But overall it is the same company, but you do have two different use cases here. So yeah, that is the third way to host a Minecraft server. And of course, the last way to host a Minecraft server is actual server provider. So here we have Pebblehost for example, but this is also one of many other paid server providers. So this is, you pay monthly 
and you get a specific amount of RAM, you can't change this except if you pay more or less. And this is what it is. So, same idea, we start a server, and here it just starts the server. So, yeah, the only difference with all of these is that when you self-host, you have to double-click a file to start the server, and that's kind of the difference here. All of these use the same file format, everything. It is just a different way of seeing stuff. So yeah, that's the difference here. And here our server has like starting to turn on. Here it says it's preparing spawn area. And once it's gonna prepare everything, we will be able to play on our server. So yeah, there you go. And what we'll be doing here is to copy your IP. You'll see something like address here and it will be an actual IP address. You might only have this or you might have a port as well. Here it says we have copied it to a clipboard and yeah, all we have to do is go to Minecraft, add server, we have to paste in our IP and then we do done and there you go, we have a server. So just like Exaviton, Atonos, you know, self-hosting, we can just play on Minecraft. So yeah, that is four ways to host a Minecraft server and I will have all the ways in the description as well if you're interested in one specific way of hosting your Minecraft server. So if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!